We're now going to take a quick tour through the display functions of the Tech 2 uh, and give you kind of an overview of the special function aspects of it as well. Now, in the interest of time, we're obviously not going to be able to cover all of the special functions of the tool. Uh, included in this particular package, you'll have kind of a pathing chart uh, of all the, all the parameter IDs and output controls and what menus you'll find them in. I just want to point out to, to you uh, a few of the hot functions of the tool, and we'll go through some of the hot keys as well as we go through the data display and kind of how to manipulate the display itself. So we're going to go back to powertrain, and we're going to select uh, our engine, which is uh, Anison Nancy. And we're going to go to data display. And we'll select engine data. And I will do engine one. Now you're going to get uh, a listing on the screen here of obviously data parameters. Uh, if you note about three quarters of the way down on the right side, it will say one slash, in this case, one slash 47. That tells you the total number of parameters in that engine list uh, and which particular parameter you're on. So the engine speed happens to be the first parameter in a list of 47. So our engine data one has 47 engine parameters. Now to navigate your way through this, you can either use the up or down arrows and key through it, or you can do pages at a time. To do page changes at a time, you're going to use the left arrow key and the right arrow key. And the right arrow key will send you down one page at a time, and the left arrow key will send you up one page at a time. So it allows you to jump very quickly when you get these data lists with 30, 40, and 50 data parameters. Jump very quickly among screens. You can take a quick glance and see if anything looks out of the ordinary. So our O2 sensors are switching well. Long-term fuels. Now, you'll notice hotkeys on the bottom here. Um, the first item says uh, select items. This allows you to customize a list from the items out of 47, you can take any three items and pull them up and create a separate list for them out of the 47. I'll show you how that works. So let's say you were working on a particular problem and you wanted to look at maybe three items and, and aren't, aren't really as concerned with the rest of them. We could go to select items and it will give us that list with no data uh, fluctuating. This is essentially the, the data parameter list. So I'm going to select uh, engine speed. So you highlight the item and you hit the enter key and it'll put an asterisk next to it. And we'll go down to mass airflow sensor. And we'll key down to uh, the one of the front oxygen sensors. And then we're going to clip, uh, hit the button that says accept. Now you'll notice what it is. It took, it took those three parameters out of the list and put them up on the top. So they will remain up there all the time you can then jump through the rest of the list and keep those other three active simultaneously. So it allows you to pull out parameters that you may use frequently while monitoring the other parameters. The next hotkey you see on the bottom is DTCs. This will allow you to jump very quickly from engine data or transmission data, wherever you are, right into the diagnostic trouble code section. When you, when you select DTCs, it'll take you into the DTC menu, uh, which allows you to speci uh, select specific DTCs or uh, current history codes or go through the levels of OBD2 diagnostics. Uh, the next hotkey there is Quick Snapshotter. And Quick Snapshot allows you to take a running snapshot movie uh, while you're in this mode. So you don't have to go back to a specific menu off of the main menu in order to run a snapshot. So if you're on a road test with a vehicle, for example, and you're driving down the road and the car hiccups, you can right off this screen here, hit this soft key, and it will start recording a snapshot movie for you. Uh, the Tech 2 with a 32 meg card uh, will actually take a record time of up to several hours if you wanted to record that much information. Uh, you'll find typically three to four minutes is usually a, a, a good amount of information for you to, to capture all of the data. Now I'm going to caution you at this point because the snapshot is only going to snapshot the data list that you're in. We happen to be in engine data one, so our snapshot will pertain to the data that's in this data list. If we're looking for a specific set, like let's say misfire information, we may want to move to the misfire data list and then do it accordingly. Uh, in fact, that's a good place to go because I've created a, a misfire on this vehicle and I wanted to show you how that would show up in the data list. So rather than having to exit out back to the main menu, we can go right to that data list uh, through another hotkey here, which is the more key. And you'll notice you'll have the first one, which says units, allows you to change on the fly between uh, Celsius and Fahrenheit. The next two hotkeys there will allow you to go to the previous list or to the next list. So misfire list was a couple of lists down the road, so we're going to select next list. 
which is engine two. Next list, which is fuel trim. And there's our misfire data. Now you'll notice we have misfire current on uh, cylinder number three. I unplugged one of the ignition coils here, uh, so it's showing up as a, as a uh, uh, misfire. It's also interesting here, notice that on cylinder one it's showing up as misfire. And we'll talk about that in a second. It'll also give you history per cylinder here. In, sh in this case we're showing a, a history of 1,481 misfires on number one and 2,800 on cylinder number three. So the rest of the parameters look reasonably normal. Now, I could at this point, if I wanted to graph this data, I'm going to select the more key, and I'm going to go to live plot. Now the live plot is going to plot the parameters that I had selected in, in, the, uh, in the select list earlier. I'm going to go back and modify that, because in this case I want to live plot my misfire graphic. So I'm going to select more, and I'm going to go back to select items, and I'm going to, I'll leave engine speed there, I'm going to select cylinder one, because we saw a misfire on there, and cylinder three, let me clear the other one. It'll only allow you to select three total, so I had to go clear the other one. And then we'll click accept. So it's going to take the engine speed, cylinder one, and cylinder number three. And we're going to click accept. Now in this particular case you'll notice the, uh, the dotted line is cylinder number one. The solid line is, is the engine speed parameter. And you'll notice that, that uh, misfire cur current cylinder climbing here. Now you have a couple of options. You can change the min-max on the screen to change the resolution of the, uh, of the graph. Once again, you can take a snapshot while you're running. We must have missed number three. Yep. Okay. Now we should have all three graphed. There we go. So we have the thick solid line is the engine speed. The thin solid line is cylinder number three, and the, the dotted line is going to be cylinder number one. And you'll notice cylinder number three misfire is climbing a lot higher than cylinder number one, 